all the areas in your body. 150 years of Mayo Clinic history in a traveling museum. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. With a guest still on a journey of his own. I'm the only living exhibit here. I feel special. Special is Patrick Ziegler even being here. No, ma'am. I was shot in the head. Oh, uh, God. Yeah. Patrick was at Fort Hood in 2009, completing his paperwork upon his return from his second tour in Iraq. I could see this a laser pointing around and it actually hit me in the eyes, you know, and uh, I looked right at him and then he pulled the trigger and that was it. Good evening, we begin tonight with a horrible act of violence. 13 people dead, died at the end of Nidal Hassan's gun. He came up and shot me three more times. Patrick, as close as a man can get. So I got a call about two in the morning. About to be among them. They just said, pack a dress for a funeral and get here as soon as you can. Jessica Ziegler was Patrick's girlfriend then, a Minnesotan in Boston, one semester away from a degree in neuropsychology, studying the brain. So the bullet entered here, shattered his skull. That dark area the is the part of Patrick's brain that has been brain. removed. Yet somehow, weeks later, he was on his feet. You don't have to hold me up. Seven months after the shooting, Jessica arranged for Patrick to be flown to her hometown, which as luck would have it, also has a pretty good hospital. One year later, they were married. <coughs> and life moved on. That's Liam Patrick Ziegler. He is 19 months. Life is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's incredible how far we've come. At least that's the picture <laughs> Jessica and Patrick have been painting. Here's a flower. Life is great. Part true. Yeah. But partly, in Jessica's words, just what the public um, wants to hear. I think it's harder than people see. And Patrick and I have talked about this, that I sort of feel like I've been running a PR campaign for the last four years. Truth is, since the shooting, right. Patrick has spent nearly 800 days in hospitals. His mobility has improved, but Patrick remains partially paralyzed on his left side. Hello, hello. That's the easy part, the part with which Ranger, Patrick's service dog, can help. The winter was pretty hard for me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't have the same coping mechanisms that I used to have. More difficult so are Patrick's mood swings. And then you're on Depakote. Treated. And Lamictal. By a half yeah. dozen drugs. Lorazidone. My shoulder has been hurting a lot in addition to my head that always hurts. Lost in the shooting were the parts of Patrick's brain that control empathy and patience, parts that help families run smoothly. He doesn't understand why I can't just jump to do something for him yeah. when the baby has needs. We're, you know, dealing with some very difficult long-term issues which are very typical. Are you giving Daddy a sticker? Americans crave the storybook ending. <laughs> no, 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 no. Where heroes aren't left at high risk for Alzheimer's, stroke, and suicide. <laughs> with cognitive lapses <laughs> that make staying alone with their own child unsafe. We're not setting people with brain injuries up for success if we're not talking about the unpleasant things. So that's where I am. And Patrick hates it, but... I don't hate it. I just... Sometimes I don't like looking at reality. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. People often thank Patrick for his military service. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. But the sacrifice by Patrick and his family is for life. And we all knew when we signed that paper that it was possible, you know, to be like this. And we did it anyways. And here we are. Hi there. How you doing? Awesome. Attaboy. Boy, Boy Hooper, Care 11 News, I get out of the Army Rochester. Last year. Yeah. Yeah.